Hello chess friends and welcome to another game analysis. We are in the round 6 of the Grand Chess Tour in Zagreb and this is a game between the Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura. Magnus opens the game with d4, we have knight f6 and then c4 e6. Magnus play knight f3 and then d5, so this is the queen's gambit declined. Knight c3 Magnus played and then bishop to e7. We have bishop to f4, and then uh, Hikaru makes the castle, after that e3, and then c5. So Hikaru chooses to play the sharp line with the c5 move. Instead of that, uh, he could also play a knight to e7, a threat to support pawn on c5, or, sorry, um, or he could also play b6, and that will uh, organize the bishop on b7, and then prepare for c5 but he immediately plays c5 and we have d capture c5 so bishop recapture on c5 and then a3 so pawn on a3 wants to control b4 so that can be very uncomfortable for white if black moves the bishop here on b4 that will uh, attack the knight and also make a lot of problems on the diagonal a5 e1 so after that we have knight to c6 and then queen to e7 we have rook to e8 and then bishop goes back on the square g5 so now he pins the queen on the diagonal and bishop retreat on the square e7 we have rook to e1 put the rook on a, on a semi-open file that is a good idea so now he, he tried to capture on the d5 so queen goes out of the d5s and choose the square a5 we have bishop to d3 and then d captures c4 bishop captures c4 and then h6 attacks the bishop on the g5 so bishop goes to f4 and then it is time to develop the bishop from the square c8 and bishop goes to d7 and white makes the castle uh, in this position it is time to include the rooks in the game to so put them on the open files uh, black can choose between c and d files and uh, he carry choose the c file move the rook from a8 to c8 and in some lines he tried to move the knight out of the square uh, c6 and he will attack the bishop on c4 so we have e4 move threat to go e5 because of that uh, Hikaru immediately play e5 and attacks the bishop on f4 so bishop goes back on e3 and then it is time to open the c file so knight goes to d4 knight will attack the queen and also attacks the knight but uh, from the other side black uh, black opens the c5 and the rook attacks the bishop on the square c4 so magnus captures the knight on d4 then rook capture on c4 and bishop capture on e5 and after these things it looks that uh, white captured the pawn but uh, here's the nice move from from nakamura he moves the bishop on the square a4 attacks the queen and the rook and the best thing that um, Magnus can do is to push pawn C, uh, b3 and then uh, we have move with the knight on the square e4 so uh, black makes a, a really big pressure on the c3 so he cannot capture on a4 bishop on a4 because black will capture on c3 and because of that Magnus needs to defend this knight on the square c3 and he moves the rook up to d3 we have a rook from e8 to c8 and then queen goes out of the c file so queen b2 was the move he played and then it is time to move the knight because uh, now white tried to capture the knight so knight goes to c5 uh, attacks the rook here and then we have rook to e3 and then bishop captured the pawn on b3 so uh, here uh, magnus find a very good move he played with the bishop from the square e5 and capture the, the pawn on the square g7. Uh, as we can see, uh, black cannot recapture the square g7 because that will open some discover check with the knight. So knight can go on d7, that will give a check from the queen. And also he tried to capture with the knight on e7, that the bishop. Because of that, uh, black king did not capture bishop on the square g7. So he moves the rook on a g4 and then bishop capture another pawn on h6 so bishop goes to f6 and then we have knight to e5 move attack the rook so bishop capture the knight 
and the rook recapture we have queen to b6 and then after queen d2 we have a rook to g6 move and then uh, Magnus play with the bishop back because that uh, bishop is under attack uh, rook and the queen uh, are ready to capture the bishop so bishop goes back to e3 attack the knight but uh, here Nakamura recognize that it is a good moment to move the queen out of the, that, the dark diagonal so he moves the queen on the square c6 uh, for a moment it looks that this knight is a free but uh, with that move queen on c6 he threat to mate on square g2 and white doesn't have enough time to capture knight on c5 so knight to d5 uh, played by Magnus and then bishop capture on d5 we have queen capture on d5 and after that b6 defend the knight on the c5 so we have g3 move and then knight goes to d7 attacks the rook we have queen capture on c6 and then rook from g capture on c6 so rook is under attack rook goes to d5 attacks the knight knight goes to f8 and this is a position with the pawn up for magnus so that should be an easy win for him so let's see what happened in the rest of the game he included rook from f1 in the game and play rook from f to d1 uh, later we have move from nakamura knight to e6 and then a4 then rook to c4 for rooks for trade uh so rook to c4 uh and attacks the pawn on a4 after that we have a5 offer pawns for trade so a rook goes to b4 support the pawn here on the b6 square and then rook goes to d7 he wants to attack the pawns from behind and goes on the square d7 or attacks the pawn on a7 so b capture a5 and then rook capture on a7 now uh, magnus can organize a strong attack putting the other rook on the second rank with the move uh, rook d7 so he wants to do that but the pawn on a5 is also hanging for black so after he play a4 it is time to put another rook and create a strong attack on a pawn on f7 so uh, the only move which can defend the pawn on f7 is the knight goes to d8 it is a very passive move so if you try with the rook to f8 uh, th then um, magnus can easily attack the rook with the move bishop to h six so rook needs to go uh, somewhere and then f7 pawn is hanging and the best move here is the knight goes to d8 but very passive we have rook to d5 and then knight goes back to e6 uh, rook to a5 and then rook from c to c4 and the last move played by magnus was king to g2 and it is clear that white is controlling everything on the board uh, he make a lot of pressure on the pawn on a4 with the two rooks and these rooks are pinned for defending the pawn uh, also this knight cannot go anywhere he's in a very bad position because uh, bishop is controlling uh, good diagonals and the task that uh, white need to do right now is just to push the h pawn which is an extra pawn for him so he can go h4 h5 h6 and in the future uh, he can promote the queen or if the king recaptured that pawn so pawn on f7 will hang in and it is it will completely destroy the black structure so in this position he resigned and um, uh, magnus finished this game uh, very good uh, i hope you enjoyed this game analysis and see you in the next video bye bye